what's up y'all so we have another tool day new tool day today we've got just a bigger version of the same kind of tool that i've already reviewed just about a month ago i'll put the link up here in the corner we talked about the Klein adjustable link stubby and while i was at the big orange store today i noticed the 14 in one adjustable length screwdriver that's right they have the big brother out it said i don't know how new it is but it said new on the shelf thing so i'm assuming it's brand new at least brand new to home depot and it's literally the same thing as the stubby except it's a full size adjustable length screwdriver 14 and one it's even got a little funny bit on there too i don't know if that like diamond the third row third over little diamond with a cross slot uh i'm not sure what that is but yeah let's take a look at it as we did before let's see how it holds up against uh other screwdrivers uh so in addition to the stubby version of this screwdriver we've we've talked about multi bit type you know 12 and one eight and one six and one whatever in one eighteen thousand and one multi-bit screwdrivers and as i mentioned i always still prefer this even though you have to carry two the flathead and the phillips because every one every single one of these is either a not quite long enough to work has a fatter rounder area on it um and i just uh, i'm not fun I, it's good to have obviously I've, I've bought a few but it's good to have multi-bit drivers for certain circumstances but this guy we're going to take a look at it cut it open come on now let's see i'm assuming it does literally everything that the stubby did but it's just a bigger version oh there we go have that work yep just like that Ooh, it comes all the way out so it holds more of course the stubby was shorter so it would only come out to like right there as i recall uh, and uh your bits are all in there where's that funny there's that funny driver what's that what's that bit for y'all what's, what's that number two third row third one over one square is it a security square driver? Is that what that is? It may be. I don't see many of those, but that may very well be what it is. So all your bits snap in there. That spins around and do. All right, let's see how this works. Okay. All right, snaps into position there. Does it snap? Yep. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit short guy. It'd be good for bags, I guess. And then you can pull it all the way out. And then, oh, no, come back, camera. Hold still. So that is its longest extension. Let's get just the standard, whoa, it's much longer. Much longer than that. Uh, much, obviously, it's gonna be much longer than everything. Let's go down to the shortest size. Shortest size in its most compact position is literally just the same as this, except see how much bigger that handle is? This is the 11 and one. I think most of us have experimented with this guy, but uh, yeah, so that's it. There's your 11 and one up against it. And we can push down and come out just a little bit. But again, see, see how this is the important part from the shank, right? To that because what happens is when you have and I'm gonna be using this in the next video too because I've got a couple of different videos I'm about to to put out when you have these round doorknobs like this so you have to come and see how it's you know you can't even see the screw so you always have to come in at an angle just like that to unscrew the screws that's one reason why I love these. Number one, it's smooth and, and it doesn't have the angle ridges on it. And I like spinning it when I'm unscrewing a screw and I get it loose, I just take it and spin it in my hand. Uh, but the biggest thing, the biggest deal about, you know, we have to take off knobs every single day is that it's, it's, it'll get in there and get to that screw. 
Whereas if you grabbed a 11 and one, right? So see how, because it's fatter right there, so it makes it just a little bit harder to get to that screw because you're angling it out, having to angle it out further right there versus this one. So it's just barely, it goes in a little bit better. And that's because of this bigger area. Uh, this uh, Husky, which this is one of my favorite ones for just a six in one or eight in one, whatever you want to call it, because it does have one of the thinnest diameter or, or circumference of that. So, you know, if I was going to use a something in one driver, even though I have a bunch of these, I would probably invariably end up with that. Uh, but that isn't about all these. I will point out even the multi tap. Let's see, this one's got. This has even got taps on it that are rusted to heck and back. That's one bad thing about these bits is in human climates, they do rust up nicely. Uh, but we are looking at this guy. So let's just see, let's just take a look at it. Here, let me lower this down. Lowering this down, let's see how this works. All right, so that, that automatically kind of gets in the way right there. It's at a sharp angle, just literally, just like this one would be, because it's got that fat shank right there. So it uh, doesn't matter how far out you go with it, even if you go super long, woo, you can get it from a long way away, but regardless of that, it still is hitting on the knob and it makes you come in at kind of that sharp angle. But it looks like it literally works. I mean, it is a screwdriver, so it is going to work. It would be great, again, if you needed, if you ever ran across needing an extra long driver like that, but you also wanted to kind of keep it in a bag, this probably would be a great, you know, a great deal. It's kind of, it's kind of floppy. Did that lock in right? Let's see. No, you, gotta, you can't lock it in there. Of course, you could take this off and use it in a impact driver. I'm sure, I guess you can. Does it say you can? Yep, impact rated. So it's impact rated and it's magnetic. Yep, it is magnetic. Is that the tips or is that this part that's magnetic? What's magnetic about this? Oh, there it is. It's very, very lightly magnetic, just enough, I guess, to hold a screw to the tip. But there we go. Once again, just like with the stubby, I am not fond of extendable screwdrivers. This one is neat. The only thing I don't like about any of these, and I've mentioned this, I may even mention it in the other video, right? Yes, you do have handy bit storage. It comes with all these bits, including a number O driver, which is great for uh, small screws. And does it come with a, no, it does not come. It comes with a three sixteenths and a quarter flathead. You know, flatheads are pretty uncommon except in the locksmith world where you would need that eighth inch or that smaller than three sixteenths flathead. This one's too small to do like Adams Wright mortise lock type screws or uh, mortise cylinder set screws. So of course you could always just take this out and buy whatever you want and put in there depending on your application. We did have a T10 through T10, 215. T20, so the T10 and the T15s works for your Schlag. T10 works for the composite cylinders. I always thought it was nine, but last time I found out it was 10. And even a T25, that's good if you run across uh, screws, because a lot of people will put in wood screws and stuff that use the T25. So that is it. I mean, it's, an, it's yet another screwdriver, yet another screwdriver. The only thing, and I, like I said, I mentioned them before, I, uh, I'm a little rough. You can see there. I'm a little rough on the back end of it because all screwdrivers are hammers. 
And the only bad thing about any type of cap type screwdriver is it's not a great idea. It's not a great idea to hand to, to, to bang on that. So uh, because it breaks. And another thing is, you know, I keep I keep pulling this out and I have no doubt one day I'm just gonna pull and it's gonna, it's gonna like pop right out. It it may not, I don't know for sure. I've never figured out, I guess what the arrows well, I've never figured out why they put the arrow on there. Don't ever figure that out. Is that so you can? I don't know why. Why? 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 Have an arrow on there? That doesn't make any sense. You can actually see through the arrow too, but you can't see. But you can't see what kind of bit it is. You can just tell there's a bit in there. That doesn't make any sense. Klein, why did y'all do that? Doesn't make sense. But yep, there we go. It definitely does not work close up all that well so you definitely would have to extend it a little bit and uh, other than that it works hello hello i want to say it works just like a regular screwdriver but now i can't get it to to screw in yeah there we go it works it's a screwdriver uh it's an expandable screwdriver in case you need it i can't think of a single thing that you need a extended, like I, I've never needed, maybe once in a blue moon for non-locksmithing purposes. I can't think of a single reason. Maybe you can in the comments, post in the comments. If you, if you think you need a screwdriver that's that long, I think in that case, I would just use one of my other fixed drivers like that. Uh, I don't, I'm just, don't know i don't like these kind of screwdrivers so as i did the last one i'm giving it away post in the comment section that's a neat screwdriver jason that is a neat screwdriver and you will be entered to win this exact screwdriver yes i opened it up no i'm not getting you a new one uh depending on who wins it no yep no yes you may or may not get the packaging but if you're interested in the 14 in one adjustable length screwdriver post in the comments section that that's a neat screwdriver if you have any other questions or comments post them as a separate one so i can do that and then we'll have a drawing one day and and go from there so there we go the klein 14 in one adjustable big boy i did notice and i will point this out i didn't buy it i'll put the picture up here right here as i was shopping i saw they do have the same thing but a ratcheting version so that it ratchets back and forth. Again, I've never been interested in the ratcheting version and because of that ratcheting version, it had an even bigger little mechanism like right around this area. So uh, I didn't get that, I got this, sorry. But if you win, congratulations on it. In the meantime, thanks for watching y'all. Just a quick short video to show off the new 14-in-1 adjustable driver. Make sure if you're interested in trying to win that, post in the comments that that's a neat screwdriver. If you have any other comments on it, post them as a separate comment so we can keep track of it and choose a winner. Well, it'll be in a couple of days. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a great one. We'll catch y'all next video.